Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Ike the Explosive when we start a timer. Let's TNT. Go. What it do? So, you know, like when the sports world where, you know, a professional does, you know, does well or, you know, they win the big game, they always come up and they talk to them about how they did, right? You know, like, how'd you perform today? And they're like, oh, I'll give 110% and da 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 da. You know, you know yeah, how that slap goes. Slap each right? other on the butt and, you know, keep yeah. it moving. Well, um, I don't know. Did you hear the story about the female golfer? No. No, you have not heard this. Great. I love when I actually bring stuff up that you haven't heard about. So, this, uh, her, her name is Lydia Ko. She, okay. uh, she was a, I think she's a New, New Zealand based golfer. So she, uh, she won or, you know, and, but they noticed like at some point during the match, they had like her trainer was out there with her and he was like, really like, like rubbing, like grind, doing a massage like on her back or whatever, you know, like, like they do in football and it, like, loosening them up. You know what I mean? Sure. So at the end of the, at the end of the match there, uh, is this going to get weird? No, 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 okay. no, not really. Right. So at the end of it, uh, the end of the match, the announcer goes, yeah, no, it's your trainer out there working your lower back or da 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 or whatever. And she goes, she goes, yeah, well, you know, I'm a period right now. And sometimes when I, you know, when I'm menstruating, you know, I, my back gets really tight and he's out there working oh, me out. Yeah, and fair. The, the, fair. The, the announcer guy was just like, uh, <laughs> that, that's nice or something. And she goes, I know what you weren't were expecting to hear, but just honesty, you know what I mean? And I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> like, that is, I mean, hey, look, man, it's not to be ashamed of. Right. But it's just that, you know, mo- normally they get very cookie cutter answers. Like, yeah, oh, you know, I'm yeah. out there doing my best, trying hard, little store. She's like, no, no, it's that time of the month. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think she said menstruating, but she said, like, it's that time. And the guy was just, uh, 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 didn't know how to handle it deer, right exactly deer in so, headlights i just thought that was super funny because you know like it'd be like a guy being like my hemorrhoids are flaring up you know what i mean yeah, i mean not like hemorrhoids right? and periods are anywhere in the near same ballpark god, god dang herpes is just <laughs> <laughs> right exactly kicking so, my butt today but you yeah, know tomorrow but uh but i can't really think of too many you know instances in like sports interviews where somebody, you know, and, and when they do fly off the handle, that's what they do. They do they do thousands of them a week, you know, mm-hmm. and they always waiting for the practice. Yeah, you're talking about practice or, <laughs> you know, playoffs. Talk about playoffs, you know, it, and those live yeah. on. It, it's very like paparazzi TMZ type of style to to that type of uh, reporting right. to a certain They're extent. just hoping that they catch you on a bad day or catch you emotional mm-hmm. so you can come out and say something ignorant. And, and, unless you're Stephen A. Smith because he's, <laughs> he's, he's just, reversed it. Where he says the crazy thing to the players and then waits for a response. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, the, it's a different type of journalism. He's like, why are you out here looking like you ate some Captain Crunch? And they're like, <laughs> the hell are you talking about, Stephen A. Smith? And Stephen A. Smith is a, hey, you missed a game. Well, I think he's a detestable human being. His mom's stupid. His dad never worked a day in his life. And I understand that he's not intelligent. And it's like, Stephen A., you don't even know this man. Yeah. And like, what are you going to do when you see him in the street? I tell him that, but you know what? No, Eight million dollars a year. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. It's interesting because because I remember when he came in, and it's been a long time, obviously, because I saw him on something the other day, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh man, he's looking like an old man. He's starting to look like a, like an old man hey, now. Hey, he's just gonna be, dude. He's been nuts his whole career. Imagine when he's like that sixty year old nuts dude on the sport. <laughs> he's just gonna be, he's gonna be like John Madden, going like, oh, the Turk and Dirk and Link them all, yep. you know, ninety percent of the say, game. There's going to come a point in this time where he says something that people are just going to be like, you went too far, Steve. Right. Yeah. 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 And yeah, with the exactly. amount of cocaine that he does. I, I feel like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he pull, pulling this He's man, allowed to do it. <laughs> he's pulling his nasal into, into question. He's allowed to do it. Why are I allowed to do Why it? Why is he a cokehead? <laughs> I don't know. Because don't, don't all people who make eight figures do coke? Man, oh, if I made eight yeah. figures, would I do cocaine? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you would. I, my heart wouldn't be able to take it, yo. I'm, I already got enough energy. I don't need a boost. There's people out here that make less than eight figures doing doing cocaine. There's so guys I mean, out here that make less than five figures a year. And they're doing coke. <laughs> and I'm talking about with the decimal point. Yeah, right. They're like, <laughs> they're like, I, I bring in eight hundred bucks a month. <laughs> That Coke is great, that's, though. That's six figures, right? Eight zero zero point zero zero. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude. It uh, it's it's a uh, very weird that some of these people out here 
just say the most ignorance. It's just, it's just, I don't even know. Yeah, like I, I really don't understand why why people wild out in public like that, especially nowadays with the amount of cameras that are oh around. Oh my god, dude! Like sometimes I think about like if I go out and get pretty drunk, yeah. like I don't ever. I'm not an ignorant drunk by any means, but I'm like. Man, if I went out and just like was being a little feisty or whatever, like anyone could have that on film and like it could surface anywhere. It's like you have to be super cognizant of what the hell you're doing. <laughs> Definitely. Uh and it it's kind of like how, how how do you how, I mean, it's getting really close to the whole cancel cancel culture yeah, talk. Yeah. I'm trying to not get there. Yeah, but, but yeah, well, I, I feel you. But I'll try I mean, to not you know, go that there's, route. I just have to say is that that's because us as a society have designated that some things are okay to do and say and uh and be at at bat for okay than other things so, i mean you're not wrong so being 25 years old and dating a 17 year old oh god that don't fly in this country nope you get caught doing that there's a good chance you'll get your ass beaten street other countries it's okay though and nobody's gonna say anything you know like you can get beat up and nobody's gonna say anything but in other countries 16 is age of consent and that's just 100 percent the truth you go there it's not a weird thing kind of weird here yeah um, i mean i i see why it's weird yeah i mean <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be 100 with you, dude. People who are 23 are still kind of like mentally like not. A child. Not, yeah, they're still mentally a child. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I'd have to say at 25, I was still mentally. I'm kind of mentally a child now. But at 25, I was still kind of mentally a child. Like, I thought I knew everything. You still have like those ideas of like, I know better than mom and dad or right, I know everything. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, sure, you've been living on your own for a few years at that point. Like, I'm probably moved out. I think I moved out when I was 20. Yeah. So by 25, I'd like okay I can hold down a job was my place the nicest no I lived in a freaking a dumpster wow <laughs> I didn't know about that time of your life you don't remember you used to come over to the dumpster yeah dude. we'd hang out dude it was behind Ponderosa to, you get all the you got all the buffets leftovers yeah dude we had blooming onions yeah yeah dude Leavings. but no it's uh yeah it's it's I mean yeah I mean I'm not gonna lie like uh our younger people like like 25 year old 23 year old people yeah. tend to be more attractive have hard bodies like all that like lustful reasons yeah like oh yeah hell yeah dude like that's why the porn star industry like peak you peak at like 25 you know what i mean like it's <laughs> like after that it you know they're like well who's the next big thing coming in yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. but like it all depends what you're looking for like if you're like an older dude and you just want like a hot thing on your arm yeah, go for the 25-year-old girl. But, hot, like, what are you going to talk about and do with that person? A hot thing on your arm. Hmm. Some some dudes just want a piece of eye candy on their arm. That's all. They don't care about who they are as a person. Um, I mean, if a dude is at the point where he finds himself connecting on a maturity level with somebody that age, and it kind of, it kind of speaks volume to more about him than it does about Oh, her. yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're like 40, 45, and, you, yeah. and you're like, oh, me and this 22-year-old girl get along real good. We have a real connection. You're like, bro. Yeah. Now, granted, women, you know, they say, quotation fingers, that women like mature faster than dudes. That's and, true. And there's some truth to that, but there's also some falsities to that. But there's too. still, their brains aren't developed enough. Like, I've, like, like, <laughs> like women no, in general? No, or? no, guys and girls. <laughs> but, like, I've had friends, like acquaintances that I've met yeah. as I've been older, yeah. and they're like 25 or whatever. And some of them, like, you can hang out with them. You don't see a hint of, like, high schooler left in them you know what i mean yeah, that high school yeah, mentality yeah. but they still emotionally and mentally mature aren't there but you may not see that because you may not be around them when some big yeah. thing happens yeah yeah that's that's when when you're tested is when it really shows through right exactly. that's that's the big thing right when you're going through some real hard stuff like yeah. you might get evicted or a, a family member dies or you know that's mm. the stuff that they loot. They, it's like groundbreaking, shattering that's, that's moments. When, that's when the warriors come out, man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, no, for sure. Like it, it's like how you f stand up and face trauma. Essentially, mm. is like it, as you get older, you're like been here a hundred times, hey, yo. Whatever, this right, sucks, but I'm hey. getting through it. Yeah, when well, you pull your bootstraps up, Jonas, <laughs> and just pull your bootstraps, just handle it, dude. Wade through that pile of <laughs> bull dew. Speaking of Wade. 
I'm not going to go. Okay, there. anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. So uh, please make sure to go to crazytown.com and subscribe uh, for Jonas. Uh, it was a Roe v. Wade joke. Uh, TNT. <laughs> We're yeah. out. <laughs>